Hi. <laughs> It's so scuffed and I look so rough. I'm, I, I was like getting ready to go to bed and then I was like, no, I'm gonna record myself talking on my phone <laughs> because I can. <laughs> I kept telling everyone it would be really funny if I made a random video and just uploaded it to our non-existent audience. And that's about how I feel. I feel like doing something dumb that no one's ever gonna see. <laughs> I have to go through everything in my room and decide what I'm taking with me to college, what I'm leaving behind, what I'm donating. And I'm like, uh, I'm gonna find so much stuff that I didn't remember I have. And I've kept a lot of stuff over the years for the express purpose of knowing that I still have it and having it as like a comfort if I ever need it. It's pretty rare I ever pull any of it out. But now I'm gonna have to sift through it and decide if it's worth keeping anymore and uh, I'm gonna be a mess. <laughs> okay, <laughs> it's like 9.30 gonna get ready <laughs> <laughs> it's fine it'll calm down all of my clothes have like started to sort so i have like nothing to wear <laughs> that i would regularly wear so we're going like english teacher core today <laughs> okay I'm ready for the day. <laughs> um, I'm thinking I'm gonna go get food and then immediately get to work on going through my stuff. Uh, okay. <laughs> Starting my work. <laughs> trying to go through my dresser first because I think that will take less time than my closet which is a mess will also require me to go through my objects as well my various things <laughs> but like sifting through my dresser which i think is some stuff that i uh, have outgrown ollie <laughs> is a bunch of stuff i've outgrown or just don't like that much anymore so i think it'll be here, but it'll be a lot more tedious. My grandma used to buy um pajama sets at Christmas always. So I have like Christmas pajamas and that's it. These won't fit anymore as far as I'm aware. They're quite old. These go in the donate pile. Which is my floor. Amen. 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 <laughs> Amen! Another one. Bring that to my mom. <laughs> so I found a collection of bouncy balls in here. Like this one. It's like a lesbian flag colored. Don't you mind showing wacky socks? These are just like fuzzy, or white, gray, and black fuzzy socks. I got these, which are just kind of Getting like wannabe mermaid, right? Like more Christmas stuff because of course. Whatever's going on with these and the horse socks. The prize possession in this drawer. <laughs> From third grade. Another Abby classic. Then I've got the drawer of doom. The drawer of doom is crazy because you never know what you're gonna find. Like, who the fuck? Who is this? When would I have got this? It still fits me. It can't have been something from like when I was a kid. 
because the last time I needed proper winter clothes, I was like eight, <laughs> maybe? I don't know. Like, I'm gonna actually have winters now, so I guess I'll bring it. It's just like... Goodbye. <laughs> oh. This. Oof, it's rusting. The old friendship bracelets we got. And these like eye candies. Like a whole thing of them. It's the drawer of doom. You can never predict. If their kid's really into soccer. Ah! The fucking lap is covered in glitter. Okay. I just put off a ton of shit. <laughs> okay, I put off doing pretty much everything. My plan is to go and then really hone in on my closet. I'm gonna do like hoodies and jackets, and probably flannels, then anything else. <laughs> and then see about objects and knickknacks and things. I voted, I'm very important. I was gonna record something while I was out, but alas, it was really rainy. <laughs> and trying to keep my phone working. <laughs> Nico hoodie! Oh man. I remember when we wanted to get the decal, like his little iron golem decal on the back. It would have been so embarrassing to wear after that. I'm not sure I've worn this in a few years. I don't know if it still fits, but I can't get rid of this. <laughs> Update, it fits. <laughs> The last time I made a video, I was in middle school, and now I'm going to college. <laughs> That's so weird, right? I feel like it's such a double-edged sword, having your entire adolescence be like recorded online, like through different facets, not just videos, obviously, but your online footprint following you throughout your entire childhood. <laughs> That's wild. And it's like, most of it's bad. There's not much good that can come from that. But it is nice being able to look back at all of it, see how you've grown, see how you've changed. Get like, <laughs> I don't know, get that nostalgia hit. <laughs> Every time you like log on to your old email or like find an old account of yours. I don't know, it's weird. I think I'm just, I think I'm mainly just feeling reminiscent. Because I'm the only one leaving. I'm the only one going out of state. So now it's like, I feel like I'm leaving everyone behind, which obviously isn't true. But man, I wish that I could fully express how grateful I am to everyone I've met in my life, especially everyone that's been with me throughout all this time. Anyone who's gonna see this video, I wish I could properly express to you how grateful I am to have met you and how proud I am to know you you know <laughs> it's so cheesy I don't know I'm f I'm in a cheesy mood I'm in a cheesy mood it's midnight it just turned Monday and I leave on Thursday big changes so you know what with big changes I think we all need to look back at the past as well to fully, to see the full scope of our lives and where we are. <laughs> My big ass friends were like, oh, let's meet at five. Let's go to the beach, meet at five. Where are they? I don't see them. Where are they? Mm, beach. <laughs> Like, what is that? <laughs>
I have so much I want to do. I have so much I want to say in these last few days before I leave. And I'm just not sure I could properly express all of it. And I've been trying. God, I've been trying. But man, finding the words is hard and emotionally draining. <laughs> you know, it's like, what do you say to the people you think are your soulmates? Platonically, of course. But like, the, the people you found who you're so sure you were meant to find in as little of a spiritual way. I can say that because <laughs> I'm not really a spiritual person but it's true that is how I feel note to self staying out late and then having to get up in the morning to do something before noon the worst actually Yeah, like, I have! Our school has them, but, like, they're locked. There's yeah, still, like, I, nobody I, to get in there. I know what you're talking about now, actually, yeah. 
so small. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like where's the space? Like, like what do you mean? Yeah, like put them out them like a normal weirdo. Like, yeah, like, <laughs> like a normal weirdo that wants to have sex at school. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't either. Shit. You're gonna get in more trouble smoking weed at school than coming to school high. And the second of all it's not even fun, like what's the point? You wanna just fried yeah. at school just so you sit there and you're yeah. like See, that, that's the whole point of like smoking, I thought, is to relax. Relax, like enjoy yourself. Yeah. Exactly. Like if somebody's smoking at school, I feel like you would be more stressed. Yeah, it is. I've done it one time. And that's like, why would you do this? Like, the people get like fucked up at school, I don't get it. I don't get it, bro. I, I remember kids used to trip on. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know how to do that. Because they're like taking pills and then... In the bathroom, it's like... like what are you doing? Yeah. Like, what is your mind thinking right now? Like, I'm gonna get fucked up right now. It's you can't cool. be having fun. Like, like because half of them don't even know what they're taking. Exactly. So they're just taking it to take it. It's just dangerous. Yeah. Literally just taking random things because they want to. Okay, yeah, I actually enjoyed it. <laughs> what? <laughs> I actually see it. <laughs> see, I think there's a fact that it's gay that makes it like <laughs> more enjoyable. Yeah, it's uh, Oh, ooh. <laughs> Oh my god, you're so aggressive now! <laughs> I'm gonna post an assault online. <laughs> <laughs> On the internet. Don't do this. <laughs> Bro, watch it. Don't mess up. <laughs> Nobody's going to Alex. <laughs> yeah, he's out of this. Y'all are bullying me. I feel like Alex is that, that was physical assault right there. <laughs> tower. That's not it. It's not working. No. So. Tower. Oh, what? <laughs> what? Oh my god, did you eat all that? No, I mean, I ate that one. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, I had one too. I had one. I'll get mine away though. Oh, damn. Oh, no, sack, sack it. Sack it! Add it to the one. stack! Come on. Yeah. Pringles can number six or whatever. <laughs> How do we eat that method in like five? Because <laughs> Alex is like... <laughs> Chomping. Number seven. Seven. <laughs> Alex is munching. Got four people in my gut. Bro, I don't know. I always eat my phone in my bed though, because I always wake up and it's like... Somewhere. It's really? Like right? on the floor, like off the charger. It's always something. Yeah. The time we tried to call you. <laughs> I remember that ball. Oh my god. That it was, wasn't even that long ago. It was like off the front of my bed. So I was all over here. It went down and it was had like clothes on top of it too. So it literally was <laughs> How like. What the hell? That's what I'm <laughs> saying, bro. I always just find it. Nothing spot. was worse than the keys lost in the running car. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always just bad with everything, guys. <laughs> you know what, though? Yeah. You weren't the last one this time. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, I think that's really surprising. That says a lot about me. I, I'm, I'm, I'm learning. You're, you're, you're making an effort. Oh, you're making no. an effort. <laughs> Alex, hi. Can you turn your fan to face me? Because, like, I'm right. No. I'm right in direct whatever the sun is. Sunlight. Like. I'm really hot right now. Is this good? Right yeah, it's good. Did you hear that? Yeah, I heard hi. Like, yeah. I'm really hot because really of the high. sun, you know? He's just like photosynthesis. <laughs> so bright. Haircut acquired. It's still pretty wet. <laughs> it's not fully dry yet, but haircut acquired. Let's go. What a legend. Oh. Okay, <laughs> guys, it's my last night. Ah, I'm like, ah. <laughs> okay, let's be. My place is getting dirty tomorrow. Fun stuff. <laughs> it's exciting though. Like, I'm not as scared anymore. I think it's more like nerves born out of both some fear of the unknown but a lot of anticipation of not just you know not knowing what to expect is so scary but i think i'm finally ready to like face it and i spent so long self-sabotaging and trying to make sure I couldn't
figure out the unknown that now I'm like, huh, maybe I can do this. I'm gonna try and record. I really wanna capture these days because they matter. And I don't wanna like brush through them without properly reflecting and thinking and expressing myself. This will be my outlet, I suppose. And my poor friends will be subjected to my ramblings. This is like nerve wracking. The nerves are starting to set in as like the realization kicks in. I bought noise canceling headphones today, so I can really level up my autism level. Like I like I can become the stereotype. I'm really excited actually. It's really nice. I didn't realize how nice it would be <laughs> until I put them on, and I went, "Holy shit, <laughs> my life has changed." <laughs> I could have been living like this. I could have been living like this. I'm hoping for the best. I move in at 10 a.m. tomorrow, so I gotta get up. So I also wanna like shower, do my hair tonight because it's looking a little unruly. Ah, I'm so in. <laughs> And a little and hot. There's no air conditioning. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I bet you can hear the fans going. <laughs> 